Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda and I'm so glad you joined us today. We have a very special program planned for you and my special guest is Raquel is back with us. <laughs> I love this girl so much. Oh, I love you too. You know, sometimes she helps us on Friday at the bakeries. We um, to raise money for our ministry, we have baked goods that we sell down at the Village Market here in Collegedale, right on the university campus. And you come and help us, and you greet the people, and help us sell, and you do an amazing job. Oh, thank you. you it's a privilege. <laughs> and uh, so let's let's tell everyone, you, you grew up cooking. I did. In fact, you help your parents have a restaurant here. Tell yes. us, uh, tell our viewers a little bit about it. For those that are, thank you, Melissa, she get, get me my, whoops, give me my um, iPad here. Can't <laughs> shut off this <laughs> this uh, faucet um, but go ahead and tell us a, to our viewers a little bit about yourself and about your restaurant let's give you a little plug there my name is Raquel I am 16 years old and I am a homeschooler in high school uh, our family owns a business restaurant called Ahi Peruvian restaurant right here in Ottawa and but how do you say that again slowly Ahi Peruvian restaurant and how do you spell it A J I Peruvian restaurant a J I Ahi Ahi Ahi. You know, I, I've seen that, but I didn't know how it was pronounced. And <laughs> yes, so, a lot of people say A J A G, but it's yeah. Ahi. Ahi. Okay, well that's good to know. And what kind of foods do you serve at that restaurant? We serve authentic Peruvian food, which is what? Uh, we've got some lomo saltado and arroz chaufa, a bunch of different authentic Peruvian dishes made. Um, from us and from my grandma who's the head chef and I'm half Peruvian so oh well in fact we are going to invite you and your mom to come on the program and actually fix one of those dishes that would be awesome um, do you have an idea what would you think is the most popular dish to she might mm, want to fix maybe uh, an arroz chafa which is like a stir fry of um, a fried rice mm -hmm. and it's got like uh, vegetables in it and it comes with eggs and you can do tofu or veggie meat Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. I'm sure your mom is going to have a lot of ideas. Yes, but that, I'm that's, sure she that recipe does sound good. Um, that was the oven that was telling us it's ready. It sings to me like that when it's ready. <laughs> because today we are going to make duffins. <laughs> that's right. It's a it's a combination of a donut and a muffin. And we call it duffin. Isn't, duffin. That, isn't that cool? That is really um, neat. So you want to read the recipe? Sure. For us? Okay. okay. For this recipe, you will need one third cup of original flavor almond milk. Uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two-thirds cup of mar margarine, three-fourths cup of dark brown sugar, three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, fourth a teaspoon of cloves, one 15-ounce can of pumpkin, two tablespoons of applesauce, one teaspoon vanilla, one cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Ooh, and I tell you what, this is so delicious and so easy to make. In fact, we're gonna show you how fast and easy it is. We are going to bake it in the oven for about how long? I think about, um, about 20 minutes. So I've got my oven on 350 already, so we can pop it in there right afterwards. And we're going to just, this is how easy this is. We're going to mix all of our dry ingredients in this bowl. So I'm going to switch out this okay. so that the camera can get a good look at you dumping all of the dry ingredients okay. in here and then whisk it up and stir it up. That's it. All right. So you can use that spatula to kind of help you put it in there. And while you're doing that, I'll uh, greet some of our viewers. We have Carolyn Walker is watching uh, from Wausau, Wisconsin. And thank you, for Carolyn, for telling us where you're from. Uh, this is the time if you have any questions at all about our recipe, go ahead and submit them. Uh, anything you want to share or maybe even about our website or our ministry, go ahead and, and put that down. And also tell us where you're from. We'd love to know where you're from. Brooks Kids is watching and we love Brooks Kids. It's our brand new program added to our lineup. If you go to kidsclubforjesus.org, uh, you can watch. And we are, um, we are loving you guys. You are doing an awesome job over there. Um, let's see, Pamela Morgan from Jamaica. Hello, Pamela. Uh, thank you for joining us. And um, also, Micah and Michaela from Long Beach, California. You guys are so faithful. We just love you guys. I wish you could come and be on the program and cook with me. I would love that. You ever get to Tennessee, I'll book you to cook with me, okay? Um, and uh, Burke's Kids is saying that that look, recipe looks interesting. It is. It's so moist and it's so good. Now, 
This is the vegan version. Um, if you want to use um, and make it just a regular vegetarian, you can omit the cornstarch and add um, eggs, two eggs to your, um, your sugar mixture, okay? And, uh, and then add milk instead of almond milk and butter instead of margarine. So you can swap it out to regular, but this is the vegan version. Is it buttermilk? Adding oh yes, and also the almond milk and the lemon juice, I'm creating like my own buttermilk. So if you're gonna make a non-vegan version, you can omit the lemon juice and the almond milk for buttermilk. Just put the same amount of buttermilk in there. Uh, my mom is watching, hey mom, I miss you. And um, my mom is in Michigan for a couple of months with my brother, and I miss her terribly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, and mom, you remember Raquel? So let's see. And then we have um, Jackie and Jasmine from Maryland are joining us. And my good friend, Dr. Lois Somerville down in hot Florida. Is it hot down there, Lois? <clears throat> I think it's, gonna, it's pretty nice out it's here today. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. But my mom, I called her and talked to her this morning. She told me it was 47 degrees oh, in Michigan. Oh, wow. I, I, you need to come back here, so Mom. Pretty chilly. We have good weather here. <laughs> and then, um, and then Pamela's saying uh, good evening to everyone. Okay, so now we'll set this aside. Okay. And you can give me all those little dishes. And, um, and I'll put those over here, right down there. And we'll move this aside, put our bowl in here. And what I want you to do now, to save uh, time, I went ahead and already mixed with an electric mixer. I blended up our soy margarine and the brown sugar till it was it's really light and fluffy. So go put that in here, and then you're going to add the pumpkin. And I I just used uh, it's 100% puree pumpkin, not a pumpkin pie mix. This is solid pumpkin. Uh, you're going to put in here and the uh, applesauce. I'll take that for you. And then you're going to put in. I've already got. You see, it's a little curdled. I don't know if you can see that um, from the camera right there. If you hold it like, <clears throat> more into the counter, I'll, I'll get like a here. Shot. Okay, like this. No, too far. Right here. Yes. Okay, so you can see kind of how curdled that is. I'll just show you a little. Um, see, can you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, and that's what we're making our own little buttermilk, um, vegan buttermilk. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in here as well. And I don't pre-measure the vanilla because it will evaporate. And then you don't have the right amount in there. I'm going to show you the kind of butter that I use for uh, vegan margarine, though. Um, this is... Uh, which camera do you want me to show? She can show the main one. Okay, so let me show you. This is the kind of I use. You can use in, your favorite kind. Is this good, Melissa? It's really, it's, hold it back a little bit. Like this? Just, so. Okay, hold on. I don't know. All right, so maybe I'll do this. I'll, let, try, I'll, try I'll, the, I'll set it right there. Okay. Okay. So we'll try that. And that is just an uh, almond. It comes in avocado, I believe, and it comes in um, um, another flavor. Um, olive, oil. olive oil, yes. Uh, which olive oil really flavors your dish. So unless you're making an Italian dish, I don't recommend the olive oil one. And, um, and I, the almond oil one is the most neutral, so that's why I like it for baking, because mm -hmm. it doesn't add a lot of flavor to your dish. Okay, so now we're going to add yeah, our, uh huh, and then just go ahead and mix this up with this okay. rubber spatula and put that in there. And let's see, Lois telling us it's 93 degrees there. Whoa, oh. you're not kidding, it's hot, huh? It's hot, wow. Um, and, and Micah and Michaela will take me up on my offer to cook. I would love that, you guys. That would be so special. I hope you do. I'm counting on you. And Teresa Stroud is watching. And let's see who else is here. From um, We have so many people joining us from all over. And we just love that you are joining us today. Let me put this over here. Yep, just mix that really good together. And then, as soon as you have that mixed together, mm -hmm. uh, let me take this for you. Okay. 
you can um, start adding your or flour the, mixture just a little bit of time because we've already, she's mixed up that flour and all the dry ingredients together. So now you're just going to keep adding that by hand a little bit of the time. You see, when you have uh, muffins of any kind, you usually don't want to use an electric mi mixer because you really only want to stir until the flour is all absorbed. Once it's absorbed, because it, it'll change the texture. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to really mix it up. But that's why I only use the mixer to uh, blend the, really just cream the sugar in the, in the um, margarine. Mm -hmm. And only that. So then... Does that look good? Yep, that looks good. So now just start adding just a little bit of that. And what I can do is get you a... I'll get you a measuring cup here. And I'll give you a... How about this? You mix, and I'll add a little bit at a time. How's that? Perfect. Okay. And um, and Pamela, I wanted to ask you how you're feeling. I've been praying for you. I know you've been dealing with some health issues, and and uh, so I would um, just want to check on you and let you know that you are loved. Let's see here. I'll put a little more in here for you, and just keep mixing that up. This is a, that's all it is, folks. This is so easy to so do. So simple. You can mix this up early morning. And you can actually even top this. Now, when this finishes baking, we're going to um, brush it with, I've got some melted soy margarine. Um, if it's not a vegan recipe, you can just do melted butter. And you brush the tops with the vegan margarine. And then you dip it in this cinnamon and sugar. And I've just got some sugar in here and some uh, cinnamon. And you just mix that together. And you just take that uh, muffin right out of there and just dip it into this mixture at the top. Now you can also um, sprinkle it with pecans, you know, if you Ooh. want nuts on it, which is also mm -hmm. good. Um, also really but good. this is like a frosted donut, but kind of a muffin texture. It's really kind of cool. I'm excited. I had, I think I made on this program before. In fact, you can find the recipes on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. All of our recipes are there. And there's one that I did with pumpkin donuts. And Ooh. so this is kind of a take on that. Um, pumpkin donuts, only in a muffin. And it, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's really good. How's that coming together? It's coming pretty good. All right. I'm just going to give you a little more. Keep right. you busy working over there. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite things to cook, Raquel? Um, uh, I like to cook a lot of Peruvian dishes because I already know how to do that. Mm -hmm. When it comes to baking, I like doing banana nut breads mm -hmm. and... Um, I have these cookies that I that I got from a really special friend that she made up with. It was one of her own recipes, and it's like an oatmeal kind of chocolate chip with nuts, and Ooh. it's really good. It's one of my favorites. You liked my lemon poppy seed bread. Oh, they were so delicious. <laughs> you we, really need to try it. We sell them at the bakery, and uh, and you need to try that. It's so easy to do. That oh, recipe yeah. is actually in our uh, on one of our recipes I did on the program. Oh. So you can go to our website and get that one too. Lemon poppy seed bread. Oh. So good. So delicious. Yeah. So There's really a lot of lemons in that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a ni nice, fresh, zingy, tangy lemon taste. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, and we have Sherry Reed is watching. My cousin Sherry. Hi, honey. How are you? It's so good to have you join us. She is so amazingly musically talented. Oh, wow. Uh, Sherry, if you lived anywhere near me, we would have so much fun <laughs> on our praise and worship programs on Sabbath. Um, and she also plays the bass. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, you are so talented. Her whole family is talented. Um, and then we have, um, oh, um, from Sophie Sparrow. Um, she said that she's watching us, Bruce and Angela Sparrow. And thank you for joining us. Oops, I'm running behind here. Let me get you. You're, you're caught up with me. I, I got to stay up stay and pay attention, don't I? And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Yep, that's true. So here we go. And we have, um, you, I was going to ask you, what, what is, if you were asking, if someone asked you, what is Peruvian food? What is so different from Peruvian food versus, you know, Mexican food mm -hmm. or food from Guatemala mm -hmm. or, you know, or whatever, what, another Latin country? What sets you apart, they call it? Peruvian food. But. One of the specific things that set us different from everything else is our ají pepper. So it's actually named after the restaurant. Or oh. No, our restaurant's named after the pepper. Yeah. And it's an ají pepper. It's a very typical Peruvian pepper that um, we get and we, we bring from Peru. We import it from Peru. And oh, so okay. we use it in our food and a lot. And is in Peru, hot? they use it. 
Um, it is technically spicy, but mm -hmm. we take all the spice out because we don't offer our dishes spice unless they want it to be spicy. So if I said I want it extra hot, you'd... We can make it, yes. You can make it. Okay. I, I, and I do. I like it extra <laughs> hot. And so what, what kind of... So you have that peppered in mm -hmm. most of your dishes? Yes. In most of our dishes, we use that pepper in that mixture. And we've got a bunch of different ones like rocoto and... What is that? It's a type of pepper. Oh, it's one okay. of the type of peppers. And is that hot? Or? Yes. Because, yes. you know, we have sweet peppers, and not right. all peppers are hot. People right. tend to think as if it's got pepper in it, it's spicy, but not always. No, not always, no. Yeah. So besides the pepper, what else is, are you known for? Um, we're known for a lot of rice and beans, mm -hmm. very much Hispanic food. Mm -hmm. And uh, Do you have a, diff a special way of fixing your, um, do you call it rice and peas? or? Um, I know in, in, um, in when I was in... Uh, um, not Bahamas, not Barbados, not, um, bah um, oh, it's, what's the other B? Island. It's, it's escaping me right now. Bermuda. Ber they told me, they were over there at the potlucks I had at church, they had lots of dishes of rice and peas. And, mm. they, and it was really beans. I expected to see green peas in it. Oh, uh -huh. it, Yeah, but no, it was, um, it was a, really a, like a bean, yeah. really. And... Do they have, Pamela, do they have rice and peas in Jamaica? I kind of remember having rice and peas in Jamaica. Um, but I, when you travel as much as I do, a lot of times, sometimes that, it can all run together. Uh, but I kind of vaguely remember that. Do you, Melissa, remember we had rice and peas in Jamaica? It kind of feels like we did. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah, it was delicious. And then do you fix your beans any particular way? Um, just with typical seasoning, pretty much. Like, what would be a typical seasoning that you put in your beans? Mm, we put cilantro and onions. And mm -hmm. So would Peruvian food have a lot of cilantro in them? Yes, a lot of cilantro, yes. Okay. And so very similar to Mexican food, would you say? Pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you have things like burritos and tortillas and things like um, that, or no? Not as much, not as common. We, mm -hmm. we can make some, but it's not as common as Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what kind of bread do you have? Um, we don't usually have much bread, actually. Oh, really? We just don't make much bread. It's, okay. It's a lot of rice-based okay. and spaghettis. And, and then do you have chips or something, like or like tortilla we chips? We have this, or? we have a lot of corn, so we use okay. a lot of corn. So this is thing called cancha, and so it's like baked little corn pebbles, and oh. it's kind of like a chip for us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like corn nuts, right? Like, mm -hmm. like yes. corn nuts? Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Bigger. Okay. It's a little bit, yes, they're a lot right. bigger. Let's do this salty. just a minute and yeah. see if we can't get this. It's almost here. done. And then we're going to, you can just see there's a little bit of dry flour. When you turn it over and there's a little bit of flour, um, it's it's not ready yet. But it's now. This looks is looking really good. You did a good job, Raquel. Now we're going to, just going to spray our pans. And this is a baking spray that I have here. And that means that there's flour already in there, and that helps it come out of the pan really fast. So I'm just going to spray that real quick. There's flour in the, it's a nonstick um, spray with flour added. So you don't have to flour your pans, which is really so cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this okay. and fill it up good it. and oh. dab it right in there. Okay. And I'm going to have you put this here so everyone can see what you're All doing. Right. Okay. And then we'll put that right in in the oven to bake. And we're going to bake it for about 20 minutes at 350. And then when it comes out, just brush the top while it's hot. Brush the top with the soy margarine. And then dip it right away. Like I turn it upside down and dip it right away and into the um, sugar and, and cinnamon mixture. And it's good to go. Sounds some? delicious. Yeah. It just smells so yep. good. I wish you could Perfect. smell the pumpkin. And this makes about 15 of these muffins uh, uh, on an average. Um, I'm making these extra big because I like the, you know, it doesn't have to love muffin tops. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yes. my favorite part of a muffin. <laughs> so to have them, you know, get me a little bit more of that muffin top, I kind of fill them generously. Some Usually when you have a muffin, uh, muffins, they'll tell you to do it. Um, that's good. Now we're going to just pop that right in the oven. Okay. And Melissa, you set the timer for 20 minutes, please. And guess what you get to do right now? We'll just put that right over here. Ooh. And, and I'm going to set this here so you can get a shot of that. And Melissa, and show, 
everybody what that looks like. Let me clean our area, our area real quick. And uh, what do you think? They look amazing. Wow. <laughs> All right. So you want to take one and try it? Sure. <laughs> look right in that camera and take a great big bite okay. and let everyone what, what it, well, tell us what, what you think. All right. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> is that good? What that is. If you if you open it like this so they can see the middle of that. See, mm. it's really moist and tender inside. And, and I so like perfect. to serve these hot. Oh, If you yeah. serve them hot right out of the oven, oh, it's like having a warm donut. Warm donut. This and is... and you can, you know, heat them up in your oven. You know, mm -hmm. you can make them the day before, heat them up, or even in the microwave. But if you do the microwave, caution, any kind of bread in the microwave, you can change the texture of bread if mm -hmm. you heat it too much. Oh, so yeah. it's really just a few seconds in the microwave to oh, just yeah. give it that. Because otherwise it'll be tough and it's any kind mm -hmm. of bread doesn't mm -hmm. work well if you overcook it in the microwave. Oh, yeah. It's not good at all. This is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do this. Oh, uh, it's, it's, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Aww. This time went by so fast. Yes. Melissa, what are we fixing next week? Black bean Ooh. bistro burgers. Oh, I love those. <laughs> that I created sounds recipe, delicious. But I, do love <laughs> I wouldn't give you any recipe I didn't love, to, to be honest with you. I won't do that to you. If, I've, if I put a recipe out there, it's because I really love it, and it's good, um, and it's tried and true. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll have those burgers for us next week. Um, I want to invite you to join me this Sabbath at 5.30 for praise and worship on my Brenda Walsh Ministries page as well as YouTube. I have a Brenda Walsh Ministries channel on YouTube and uh, it, we went live on YouTube for the first time this last week. Oh, wow. And so we were going to do it today for our cooking. We'll do it next week. We'll go live YouTube. So if you have people that aren't on Facebook, tell them to join us live next week on YouTube as well. Uh, but this Sabbath will be on YouTube on my Brenda Walsh Ministries channel and be sure and subscribe if you would. Uh, to that and then on uh, my Brenda Walsh Ministries page 530 uh, for an hour of just praise and worship you can mm -hmm. submit your favorite song requests and we really have just a wonderful time praising the Lord at the end we submit prayer requests and we pray for each one of those mm -hmm. uh, also I want to invite you to uh, join we have a, a group we started on um, Facebook called Daily Scripture from Brenda Walsh Ministries and I have a praise report we just this week reached 10,000 uh, uh, followers wow. on our uh, daily scripture. That These are amazing. wonderful. It's an incredible way, oh, yeah. a non-threatening way, a really, really wonderful way to, ser to just share God's word. There's a beautiful picture and a scripture verse, a new one every day. Mm -hmm. And for you to go there and just share with the world. It's a wonderful, wonderful yeah. ministry. So daily scripture from Brenda Walsh Ministries. And, um, and then don't, don't forget to join us for the live. I also want to encourage each one of you to go to our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. This recipe and all of our recipes we've done are on our website under recipes. Just click on recipes and you, don't, you can just print them off. And also I would just ask if you would prayerfully consider what God would have you do to support our ministry. Um, it takes, we're completely funded by donations and we're a 501c3 organization, which means we are tax exempt. So we can give you a tax exempt receipt for every donation. All the ways to donate are listed on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. And, um, and if you would just um, think about when you're thinking about where, um, to, what ministries to support, just remember us. Would you, mm -hmm. I think we are the only um, uh, Seventh-day Adventist ministry, oh, wow. that's com media ministry, that's completely 100% focused on children. Mm -hmm. And we need to do more. We've already yes. uploaded more than a thousand Christ-centered programs. Wow. Uh, wonderful programs for children, and we're adding new ones every single week. So your prayers and your financial support would be greatly appreciated. Oh, yes. Well, thank you, Raquel, oh, so much for being here for with me today. Me. It was so I much hope fun. you guys make your duffins oh, and yes. enjoy them. And remember, it's kids' time to share, share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you.